my name is Dr. Artie Kopelman. I am the co-founder and president, senior scientist of the Coastal Research and Education Society of Long Island. I'm a, a marine mammal biologist for the past 35 years, half of my life. And we're here at Cubsock Beach County Park in Suffolk County on Mariches Bay. So humpback whales were endangered. Hunting for humpback whales was stopped in 1964 because they were commercially extinct. They recovered so well that by 2016, nine of 15 populations were removed from endangered status across the globe. So that's success. With success comes conflict with human enterprise, and I think that's what we're seeing. There have been 186 dead humpback whales along the East Coast since 2016. Many of them are too far gone to do post-mortem exams. But those that have undergone post-mortem exams, about half have shown uh, evidence of ship strikes. Climate change is affecting the distribution of prey, and that's going to affect the distribution of the predators, the whales that are feeding on that prey. The compacts near shore is new because their prey is shifted further north. And if the prey are near shore, the whales are going to be there feeding on them. And that leads to, unfortunately, ship strikes. Right now, particularly with all of the whale deaths, as far as we can tell, are not from wind farms. There is no evidence at all. Yes, it could be the ships that are involved in looking for places to site those it could be the ships that are involved ultimately in building and taking care of them, but they're not using seismic blasting here. So I think, to be honest with you, the rush to judgment is from folks with vested interest in stopping wind farms. I just say that. I don't want to say anything more. And it's politics. I think education is absolutely the key. Getting people involved. So when they go out there and they see whales, they make this connection that they didn't have before. And once you make that connection, you become kind of this stakeholder. Instead of thinking wealth as what you own, maybe it's what you do, or maybe it's knowledge. Instead of um, having to get the newest and fanciest thing that you don't really need, use the stuff that you have. We can't just keep producing more and more and more. We also have to get people to stop buying crap that they don't need that's being built in factories and to move systems towards what we call true cost accounting, where folks should pay for the environmental, economic, and social damage of whatever they're buying. So if you buy something that has inherent costs that are environmental, economic, and social, it should cost an arm and a leg. Right now, this stuff is really cheap. So if we move towards that system where you have to pay for the damage, that will drive things towards sustainability. It's a radical idea, but I think it'll work.